Well, hey there, boys and girls. Time for a real quick flip video on seed-bearing vascular plants. Those would be vascular plants oh, that have the seeds. Now, there's two main groups, obviously, of seed-bearing vascular plants because all things in this unit have been coming in twos. There are gymnosperms, which are the naked seed plants, and there are angiosperms. Using your science words, you can see gymno is naked. Sperm is obviously seed. Here we have the uh, not-so-naked sperms. <laughs> seed is covered in a coating, right? Angio, like your blood vessels, it means covering, coating. Angiosperms have the most adaptations, therefore they're most distal in the clade. Let's check out the cladogram mosses that we looked at first and their allies are our non-vascular plants then you have the ferns and their allies those would be a, a covering our seed bearing vascular plant or seedless those would be covering our seedless vascular plants they of course were the originators of the vascular tissue and then diverged off later was a group of plants that took that vascular tissue to the extreme said see you later spores i'm getting with the seeds because seeds are a far better technology for reproduction and those branched off into the naked plants and the flowering plants the most common group of naked plants being the conifers the cone bearers so there's some major adaptation of the seed plants. We're finally going to talk about pollen. Huzzah! Pollen! Here's a microscope image of some pollen, little teeny tiny pollen grains. And look, there's like something inside the pollen. I wonder what it could possibly be. Inside the pollen grains, this is a pollen is actually a waterproof and airtight support uh, transport structure. Inside there, that little thing, that's the male gametophyte. The entire gametophyte, microscopic and hiding inside these little grains of pollen, which just look like dust that you can scatter around. And on top of that, that means that those gametophytes that are in there, they're alive. They're sealed up so that they can be transported through the air, and they're just actively producing sperm, doing their male gametophyte thing. Which also means when you get pollen in your nose and it gives you an allergic reaction, that actually is your body responding to the fact that you have plant sperm up your nose. You're welcome for that. Speaking of allergies, that's sort of what brought on my whole voice problems. If you suffer from allergies, you could take medicine, but recent studies have actually found that you're, if you're infected with a parasite, your body's immune system will be too busy with the parasite to even bother with things that don't actually matter, like tree sperm. So, maybe we should all get parasites, or I could just buy allergy medicine instead. The other major adaptation for the seed plants is the one they're named after, the seeds, <laughs> obviously. Seeds are these protective structures, again, that house the whole growing plant embryo. So all the other plants have been reproducing and dispersing using spores. The ferns had those really nice spores with a really thick coating that could live out through the winter. These are better, though. Seeds are way better. And on top of that, it's not actually housing a stupid little gametophyte. It's housing the full-on embryo, the beginning of a sporophyte generation, the diploid growing plant. And in fact, many seeds actually contain nutrients inside there that allow for the growing plant baby to feed, and which is why the seeds, many of them can go underground and then a plant can grow out of them with and produce all this plant before ever getting to the light for photosynthesis. So seed plants are really spectacular creatures that survive much, much better than their uh, non-seed bearing counterparts, even over other vascular plants like ferns. So those are pretty much the basics. That's what you need to know to get ready for the computer lab. Hopefully you watch those pretty short. No Moodle because it's just short video. We'll do a computer lab where we'll dive into the two main groups of our seed-bearing vascular plants. Thanks for watching, everybody.